Square website tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you about Square and how you can use it. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So for those of you who didn't know what Square is, it's basically a payment uh, managing software. It's basically, you know, uh, customers uh, send their receipts and, you know, they keep a track of it. It's basically a payment processing uh, company and it's really, really nice and you can use it to start your own business. So let's just jump into it. So over here, I'm on their website, squareup.com and immediately what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on get started to create an account. So simply click on get started and you'll be good to go and over here basically you know you're going to go ahead and create your account you're going to enter in your email address confirm your email address create a password select the location and just simply click on continue and once you've done that they'll basically ask you a bunch of different questions so over here they ask you what type of business is it so over here you have a bunch of different options just choose whichever option you feel most comfortable with so let's just say food and drinks and over here business category we'll just say bakery do you accept credit card or debit card yes we do depends on you what type of business is but for now we'll just say yes we do and over here just enter in your business name and over here just enter in your business contacts your meaning your first name your last name your business address city and postal code and once you've entered that just simply click on continue and you're good to go so as you can see over here you're all set and you can go ahead and download the application to get started on more you know details or you can just simply go ahead and log in into your account over here onto your dashboard over here as you can see it's loading up your dashboard so just wait a couple of seconds and you're good to go and once the dashboard loads up this is how it looks like so over here on the left side you have a bunch of options and over here in the middle this is basically where you get all of your reports so you have a couple of checklists that you can do to get started but after that, this is basically all of your reports. So you have your gross sales over here, your transactions, your payment types, top items by sale and top category. Basically, everything you're going to need to see is going to be over here. So over here, they basically ask you to verify your identity, link your bank account, you know, to activate your payment methods. Then they ask you to set up your account, basically, you know, set up your taxes, add a location, explore software to completely, you know, activate your account. So it's really simple. It's really easy. And over here on the left side, as I said before, over here are going to be your main options. So you have your reports over here in which you will get all of your reports on your business, you know, category sales, item sales, discounts, everything is going to be over here. And then you have your transactions over here. And in transactions, you're going to have all of your transaction history within this time frame. You're going to be you know displayed over here and then in items you will have all of your item library basically all the items that you are trying to sell you know are going to be over here and then in customers so over here is going to be your customer directory you can go ahead and see your directory by clicking on this button and over here you're going to see all of your customers and that's basically it and then we have final option orders and over here you're going to see all of your orders online so whenever someone makes an order it will be you know viewed over here and then over here you can process that order and you're good to go and then you have a bunch of other technical settings in your account you know account settings and you know account preferences you can go ahead and do that if you want to but let's simply get started so first things first uh let's just say that we're starting a business let's go ahead and add our items and then we'll add our customers first we go into the items over here item library and over here we can go ahead and create a you know item over here by simply clicking on create an item button and over here we're going to enter in the name the category that it falls into and we don't have a category so we can go ahead and create a category as well by coming back to the item library and clicking on categories and over here create a category so let's just say that baked goods are going to be over here and we'll click on save there we go we have a category now we go into the item library and create an item the item name we'll just say it black forest cake and we select the category baked goods i think i probably you know entered the wrong name here but whatever and then over here we put in our you know description and then we have the location and then we can drag and uh, drop an image you know of the black forest cake and we have a bunch of different images over here so let's just you know take an image that we feel comfortable with let's go with this image right here save that image over here and then we just upload the image there we go and then down below we have a bunch of different options so we can add a custom set of options to an item to create a variation for our own satisfaction so for example you know you can add like a uh, options over here for that you're going to have to create options but nevertheless we move on so then you have to enter in the sku number so sku number is a specific number that uh, you provide for a product uh, you can easily find that when you uh, you know create a business but for now 
let's just say that our SKU number is three two, you know, whatever it is. And then we add in the unit and we add in the price per item over here. We'll add that. And then we'll add the price, let's say $20. Well, it's rupees, but let's just say it's dollars. And then we have to manage the stock. All right. So it's available. You can add some custom attributes over here. You have your details over here. Once that's done, you can add lows to the stock. Non done. There we go. And you can add like variations, like different variations. So you can add like a black forest cake without any cherries or stuff like that. And once everything is done, just simply click on save and you are good to go. So that's how you basically add an item over here. And the same thing, you can add other things as well. Like it's pretty simple. You can add discounts as well. So for example, you wanted to create a discount. You can go ahead and come over here onto discount and create a discount. So let's just say it's Earth Day. So Earth Day discount and over here the amount can be let's say 20 percent off and you can add in a specific discount rules as well so save and boom there we go now you've created an item now let's go ahead and create a customer so just come over here onto home and click on customer and you can move on and over here you will have your customer directory and just simply click on create a new customer or if you already have an existing list just simply click over here and you can import all of your customers so when you click on create a new customer over here this is how it's going to be look like you're going to have to fill out this form just enter in the first name last name your phone number a bunch of different other you know information and just simply click on save and you're good to go so let's just say john jones then enter in the email address and then you add in the address of that you know person so we'll just say street number one Ramabad. boom there we go then you can select the group over here if you have created a group you can add like company and stuff like that but they're all optional next just enter in the birthday and then just simply click on save and you are good to go contact has been added successfully so if we you know refresh it here we go we have our you know first customer over here and that's pretty much it yeah guys that, that's how you basically use it and another thing they also have app integrations as well at the bottom so if you click on app integrations what you're gonna see over here is, is okay so currently the store is down but they have app integrations over here and you can integrate many many different types of applications over here uh, that can help you you know grow your business like you can maybe uh, link a website such as wix or wordpress you know over here with your account and then you can create a website for your own business through square up as well like it's pretty simple it's really easy and then another thing that you have to do is you have to you know fill out this form as well like verify your identity link your bank accounts you know take your first payment set up your account like you have to do all of these things to create your account and once you've done that you're good to go so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye